welcome back to some more ranking of soundtracks. We're back on the Mega Man series and we're spilling on to Mega Man 4. Once again, I'll just be ranking the stage themes, worst to best. So, in this case, there's eight Robot Masters, two Dr. Cossack stages, and two Dr. Wily stages, totaling in 12. The most to date, and the most of any game on the NES, in the Mega Man series anyway. Once again, I'll preface this by saying, this ranking is just my opinion, it's very subjective, there is nothing objective about it. My opinion is my opinion, your opinion is your opinion, and I would like to hear your takes on this soundtrack as well. So without wasting any more time, let's get on to Mega Man 4. At number 12, Drill Man. As much as the song does fit the stage well, I can't say much else for it. It's very generic all the way through every single section of the song. It's just a very dull, generic ass song. From beginning to end, there's really nothing redeeming about it. It just, I don't know, it just bores me. At number 11, Dr. Wily stages 3 and 4. This one's just, I don't know, the riffs are just sporadic and random and all over the place. It's almost like a modern art painting where somebody just throws paint at the canvas and says this represents blah 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 blah, give me 500 bucks. I don't know, that's just kind of like the way this song sounds to me. It's just playing around and it's something that kind of resembles a melody is thrown on there. I don't know, it, it really just kind of sounds like this song was rushed. They needed a song and they just threw this together really quickly. It doesn't do anything for me. At number 10, Toad Man. Uh, the riffs in this song are just kind of stock and by the numbers. Nothing's really happening here. They're just kind of there. I don't know, I just always get the feeling like we're just sleepwalking through this one. Like I said, nothing really stands out about it. I, I do like the breakdown at the end of the loop, though, a little bit. It's, pre it's, a, pre it's a decent little way to wrap up the loop and go back to the beginning. But other than that, nah. At number 9, Dr. Wily stages 1 and 2. As much as this does not feel like a Skull Castle song, or any castle song, never mind a Dr. Wily stage, I will give it credit for, for being a change of pace in that regard. It's not going the obvious route, but I do feel like this is lethargic for the most part throughout. I like the idea but I think it kind of just stays in one place for too long. And then that end bit is cheesy as hell. Yeah, I, I do not care for that sequence at all. It kind of feels like it has the right idea when the percussion kicks up a little bit, but it doesn't go anywhere from there. It's almost like a bit of a tease that the song is gonna take it to the, the next level, but it just kind of stalls out. At number 8, Dustman. Dustman's song has a really cool intro section. It's very simple, just three chords, but it has a cool sound to it. Even though, for whatever reason, Mega Man 4's soundtrack has this overuse of this flangey effect. I mean, it's all throughout. It does not need to be everywhere, but I think one of the parts that works the best is in this intro of Dustman song. But then these busier sections, I don't know, I think that it's not particularly great, and that flangey effect coupled with there being so many notes does not mix well. It's like each note is stomping on each other, they're overlapping too much. It doesn't work too well with the effect and the sound. And the riffs themselves aren't exactly particularly interesting to me either. It's 
funny though how the simple three chord riff at the beginning is way more compelling to me than the busier sections. But the thing that sucks is you don't ever hear that intro again because the loop picks up after it. I think it would have been a good idea to do something more with that intro section. Like maybe make it a more reoccurring bit in the tune. I don't know. That's what I would have done. At number seven, Pharaoh Man. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Pharaoh Man's theme. I don't know, I get this impression that it was, I don't know, a little overly ambitious, like it was trying too hard to be the best song in the game. Kind of like Dustman's song, I do like that intro a lot. I think the main verse that it falls into is Metza Metza. But I do like the descending progression in the middle. I really like the way it ends, too, going back into the main verse. Much like Dustman Song 2, the intro is not heard from again, unfortunately, but uh, there is definitely more to like in Pharaoh Man's Song than Dustman's. It's got a lot more meat to it. Although none of it is particularly awesome, I do enjoy listening to it, and there are any parts that I don't particularly like. At number six, Dive Man. The song starts right off with a heavy intro, very powerful riff. Then it flows into a more of a melodic verse that resembles the pattern of the intro. Then it goes back into a modified version of the intro, where the drums aren't quite as heavy. And then it slows down into a more mellow end section, and then goes right back into the heavy intro. I think what I like most about the song are the dynamics. It's, it's really not all that noticeable. The sections do flow into each other very seamlessly. Um, I mean, I guess the slow end section is probably the one part that does change up quite a bit. But there's definitely more going on here than what you may initially think upon first listening. At number five, Ring Man. This one's a bit of a mixed bag for me in a sense. I like the intro. I think the intro is pretty strong. The middle section, I'm not too crazy about. I don't know, to me it sounds like the composer was playing around and trying to figure out the riff. And then they recorded that and kept it and plopped it into this, this middle section of uh, Ring Man song. But the end section I like quite a bit. That section is really good and not only that but it actually justifies the middle section because as much as it's not that great by itself for what it is, it is the perfect lead-in to that end part. You had to have something of a similar mood to build into it. It may, Maybe it's not the perfect section to build into it. Even still, I probably would have fine-tuned that middle section a little bit, but I can forgive all its shortcomings because I think it flows right into the end section so well. And what's great, too, is that this is one of the songs where the intro section does stay in the loop. So you get a pretty solid rotation all the way throughout. Again, it's uh, it's weird to me that I have reservations about certain aspects of the song, but at the same time, I think that they're the right choices, more or less. So because of that, as a whole, I do have to rank Ring Man at number five. I find myself more interested in the song because of that dilemma that I have with it. At number four, Dr. Cossack stages one and two. It's funny to me how the Cossack stages theme songs sound way more like Fortress themes than the Wily tunes. That opening riff has this element of dangerousness that you're traversing into that you would not have 
in a regular Robot Master stage, it's it gives off this feeling of trepidation and warning and we're not fucking around here kind of a vibe that it's trying to give off. I think it pretty much the song has that kind of a vibe all throughout, but mainly in that intro riff. The middle section brings it down a little bit, kind of lulling you into a false sense of security, and then it goes right into the bombastic big breakdown that flows back into the intro. So another cool song that plays with dynamics really well. I like shit like that. At number three, Bright Man. With a name like Bright Man and a stage as vibrant and colorful as Bright Man's stage is, of course you'd expect a very vibrant sounding song, and they definitely do a good job with that. With the first half of Bright Man's song, it's got this very snappy, inviting riff. It's one of my favorite riffs in the game. And then it flows into this more pleasant, cloudy second verse. And I think the two sections work really well with each other. If the whole song was very bouncy and active and energetic, you'd probably get tired of it after a little while. So this second section, as much as I don't find myself humming along to it as much as m many other parts of the soundtrack. I think it's the perfect breath of fresh air that keeps Bright Man's song with just enough variety to make it click. Going back to Dust Man, for example, that's something that that song could have really used. It could have really used something similar to that intro to keep that balance, and Bright Man's theme has that balance. It doesn't hurt either that both sections are also really good. It's not just a matter of having two different moods, it's that both sections sound good too. At number two, Dr. Cossack, stages three and four. Speaking of balance and dynamics, this song has that going on too, only it's not two separate sections of the song, it's everything that's happening at once. The percussion and the background riff are both very busy and explosive and chaotic, but the lead instrument is a lot more simple, but effective and ominous. It gives off that ominous vibe big time. And there's definitely something about the intro, just the first note, the way, just the way it hits right at the beginning, the first freaking chord is Again, I think it's that flange effect that I felt like it was overdone throughout the soundtrack, but this is one of those moments where it works, and it works well. Again, it's simple, but it's awesome, and I'm glad that it makes its return to the song when it loops back. But I do like every section of the song, and I like unpredictability sometimes, and the middle section teased me into thinking that it was the end and coming back to the intro, but instead we ended up getting one more little section. And even though I've heard the song over a hundred times, I still, even to this day, sometimes when I hear it back, I'm thinking like that part is getting toward the end, but really, oh no, wait, we still got one more bit here. Stuff like that keeps songs fresh, and this is a song that i not gotten tired of it all. At number one, Skull Man. First off, I love the drums. I love how they change up the pattern so often. It's not just a simple or right, insert beat here and drag it all the way across the freaking timeline. The drums are an important part. It's almost like another lead instrument. In fact, there are parts where the drums come in and take over not like playing a solo or anything like that, but just for a couple of bars, the drums are out front by themselves.
but they're playing with the song and not just playing the rhythm. Also what's interesting is the arrangement. It's not your cookie cutter arrangement either. You've got the main verse. That kind of acts as a segue and sandwiches itself in between the other two sections. So it'll go main verse and then a bridge. And then back to the main verse. And then a second bridge. So it keeps you guessing. It's kind of similar to how Cossack 3 and 4 makes you think that it's going to go in one way and then it doesn't. Skullman's, you may forget which section is coming after the verse because two different sections come after it. So if you've kind of gotten lost in the game and the song is just kind of playing in the background, you may not have any idea what part is coming up next. And again, that kind of unpredictability will keep a song from getting stale. Now, I don't care how many times I listen to Skullman's song, it's not going to get stale for me, even if it's not in the background. And really, it's never just in the background for me. I sometimes die playing through the stage because I'm not focused on the damn game and listening to the freaking song because I like it so much. Again, it's not complicated. It's a fairly simple few riffs, but... It's so solid and satisfying from beginning to end, every bit of it, in every section of the song. And I think too, the production of the soundtrack, I think that the simpler riffs benefited more from the style of production that they used, for the most part. So, quick rundown of the rankings. At number 12 was Drillman. Number 11, Dr. Wily Stages 3 and 4. Number 10, Toad Man. Number 9, Dr. Wily Stages 1 and 2. Number 8, Dust Man. Number 7, Pharaoh Man. Number 6, Dive Man. Number 5, Ring Man. Number 4, Dr. Cossack Stages 1 and 2. Number 3, Bright Man. Number 2, Dr. Cossack Stages 3 and 4. And number 1, Skull Man. So, let me know what you thought of the rankings. Feel free to post your own rankings or your thoughts on any of the songs or the soundtrack as a whole. I do like to read your takes on these songs just as much as I like to present them myself. So definitely let me hear what you've got. So that will pretty much wrap up this edition of Ranking the Soundtrack. See you next time.